Hi and welcome pilots, friends and followers to this brand new channel X Flight Deck. Um, by the way, I am Etron and I am the X Flight Dude. Today we are going to do a short tutorial of installation of X Plane 11. Um, if you're not sure you want to start up with X Plane, I recommend you to watch this video. A little short video of three minutes and it will show you the beautiful of X Plane. So that said, uh, we are heading down on my web page. So if you go to xflytech.com, you will find how to do the installation. You can find a file on my Google Drive. What we are aiming for is xplane 11 install execute, or you can download it as a zip file. We can also go to the original web page. So let's just do that. You can buy it today. If you buy today, it will cost you around $60. You may find a coupon out there that will give you some discount. If we click try it, and if we click download here, you will get the installer. Uh, I already done that. So you see here, I just got one more installer. What you do next is that if you have explained already on your C drive, you can rename it like I've done here. Let's just uh, get some help tools here. Um, okay, as you see here, I have already an uh, explained folder downloaded. I will go down to download and I will start up as I have already a copy. I can do a second copy. So if you want to do beta version, you can click install a second copy. If this is the first time you do the installation, you can you will have a sentence saying that install explain, not the second copy. So we will do that. The key you will get uh, from explain when you buy it and it will come in your email. You can copy and paste it in here. I blur it out or black it out so you cannot see my key. The next thing you do is only click next, next, and it will tell you where to do the installation. We're going to change that to C drive and OK. Now it's on C drive. It will take some time. So depending on your internet uh, connection and the speed you have, I have to agree to EULA A and I have to, uh, if I want, I can send my data back to the Lemur reset. So you need to read this to say agreed that's the license and we continue this is the one important step you have to do i will recommend you to find a scenery that you are familiar with so find your country are you from united states select united states and you see it's left and right i'm from europe from norway so i have to pick europe and i'm gonna pick also uh, England and the rest of Europe so let's pick that all right and on my web page you will find a lot of free add-ons everything on my web page is for free it's just links to the original page where you find a lot of free and beautiful add-ons and my goal is to create a better sim and how to do it the most easier way I want to look real so I already done some work and I already prepared some scenery that will make your sim look more real but that only for Europe and Norway so are you living other places I will provide the links how to do later on so we just pick our area and say continue if you pick everything it will take a lot of time as you see here it's take 55 gigabytes so the less you pick, it would only take about 70 minutes. We're not going to sit here and wait for 70 minutes because this is a short tutorial. So we're just going to jump into the finish one and then we're going to get started. So take a pause now and get a coffee and you are ready to go. Okay, we are back. Uh, well, you can now start uh, running uh, explain if you want to, but we are going to do something first so let's quit just a little tip uh, you need space this is my original uh, uh, explain and as you see i almost use 400 gigabytes so you need to have a big disk 
I use a one terabyte disk, so a little bit tip there. Uh, okay, before we start now, I want to do something. Uh, in my download, I have my installer. I need that one, so I'm going to move it into my original and I'm going to make a shortcut to the desktop. Also, do a shortcut to the desktop. So I have everything up here, move it down over here. Okay. So first of all, if you want to have a beta version, you can do that with doing an update and you can check out for beta. I don't recommend that you use beta version on your daily basic flying because it will crash or may crash. If you put on some add-ons and things on it, it will not work perfectly. The beta version is for the future and it's for you to test out to see how it's going to look. So that's a little tip also. Well, we are now ready. Just double click in and it's start up. It will say that the first time you start it, it needs to do an update. And it will do now the installer download that again and you can now do an upgrade again. As you can see here, uh, you can now download 11.41 R1. And as I was checking up when this was downloading, the version you have first time download is 11.05. So I was correct on that. So uh, that said, uh, it's really important to start up and do the installer once again uh, since it's the first time and it will now download more airplanes and things like that and upgrade everything for you. Now upgrade you to the stable version that you're going to use that is 11.41. That's the stable one. That's the one you can use. So we're not going to sit around and wait for this also. We're just going to jump into the next one it's going to check the disk it's going to do the installation and it's going to be finished what is really important that if you have done something and you have maybe added some add-ons that are not working or something like that you can always start the installer and you can overwrite so this is like a backup start it and overwrite every file you maybe add it into it so that also is a tip Okay, we have now the correct version and uh, everything is set to go. Um, one thing uh, I can tell you, it's a little bit important. If you have a second copy and you maybe start up explain and you have lost everything, like uh, you have lost your settings for the yoke uh, and joystick and everything, you can go back in the old uh, explain on output and you go to preference and you will find the joystick and the calibration and the key settings and what you've done there. And you can do a copy of that back. Uh, you also have, uh, if you have your plans and everything in here you can also copy what you need and you don't need maybe crash reports but if you want it you can take it everything here in our portfolio you maybe take uh, and copy back um, so that said let's just hit on uh, what's it going to do first time it's going to give you a demo you can just skip that it will show you a little bit of a video and uh, and then you can uh, play around with the Cessna and once I'm in Two, I think it is um, but we're gonna skip that and we are just going to look at some settings and I'm gonna tell you what really important oh my god I'm gonna kill that sound holy shit okay go to main menu go to settings uh, the first thing I want to say to you uh, this is how I set up my settings uh, this is to get more accurate playing and uh, somebody told me that it's it's better to have it in the middle and uh, the plane is uh, is more actual like in real life i use experience flight model because the, the, that also will make it more uh, in this version make it more realistic sound setting don't do anything uh, graphic settings the settings you are looking at right now are the settings that your computer should run on if the computer cannot run on this 
if it's not giving you what it's all about frame rates so we need to turn on frame rates in the cockpit it should be over 30 and not under if it's less than 25 it's a crap you cannot game it so this is the minimum settings i would say and it should run on your computer i always turn this up my setting is like this i have a high-end computer and i also use since i have a boeing cockpit in here i use windows but uh, and i also use a 2d panel uh, or with scenery you should use 3D panels so you are in the cockpit and the reason, I wa the reason I use Windows simulation is that I get more uh, frames. If you use full, you get less. Uh, I'm going to talk about that later. But this is how I do it. So start up with how it uh, start up first time and then go through it. I also used a little bit better of view. 180 degrees are your eyes views, but in the sim I'm going to use 70 so I don't see you cannot turn it up to 180 it will not go you need more uh, than one uh, screen or monitor to use that okay that's my tip uh, for starting up uh, there will be a link on uh, my web page of course for um, more installation how to get started and this is Lemony Research, tell you how to get started. It will also be future videos, how things are in there. So please look into that. Uh, the videos you just saw now is on here. So thank you guys. Stay tuned and stay healthy in these times. And take care. Bye bye, everybody. <laughs>